So you order. <coughs> Anyways, I'm back. <laughs> so a little introduction without giving too much of an introduction. And this was gonna be strictly work related. And if you can't tell already by the channel, my name is Daniel. And I got laid off from Tesla on April 15th of 2024. I'm gonna try to keep the information short, but also as informative as I can be. I used to work for a refurbishment center. So think of like a CarMax. We take in leased, used, and uh, return vehicles to sell them back as certified used vehicles. So basically that meant replacements of like roof glass, wheels, tires, brakes, suspension, electrical components. So that also included any bodywork and paintwork. And obviously like mentioned earlier, the goal was for the car to come out as a certified used vehicle. So I do come from an automotive background. And if anyone watching this video does recognize this plaque right here, I'm pretty sure those have an idea of what I've gone through, which could be a complete separate video. But a friend of mine recommended me to this Tesla refurbishment center back in July of 2023. And I ultimately was hired on August 7th of 2023. Camera died, so hopefully everything's set up the same. For the first few months of my job, I was a body tech. And the way everything was set up within the shop was there was an inspection department, a body department, a paid department, and a reassembly department. So every car that did come through the shop would have that same process and would end up in every department if need be. So what they did with all the new hires was start them off in inspections. So that way the new hires would get familiar with the car. So depending on your experience and how fast you would pick everything up, then they would send you off to different departments. And coming from a service department with a bunch of remove and replacements, as well as diags, I was sent off into reassembly around a month. And one thing about that shop was that most of the people at the shop were only used to bodywork or paint. The only one and unofficial foreman of the shop did take me under his wing and basically started teaching me diagnostics on Teslas. But because we weren't really a service center, we were just more like a like a CarMax without the selling aspect of the cars. And just because of the nature of the shop, if anything was a little too complicated or too expensive to repair, we would basically just send the card backs. And after that, I don't know what happened to them. So that's basically what I did for the next six months. If I wasn't doing inspections of vehicles and writing down everything the car needed, I was reassembling the Teslas after they had gone through paint and bodywork and replaced any part that it did need, whether it was glass replacements, door panels, touchscreens, steering wheels, seats, carpets, basically anything the car needed to be certified used, while every once in a while getting my experience in bodywork. We did have a four day a week schedule, 10 hours a day. I would go in at 6 a.m. and be out by 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday which would give me Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Our lunches were an hour. Just from what I would hear around the shop, working at that specific shop was not as strict as working at any other Tesla dealership. The managers there were really chill. I had no problems with any of them. And it wasn't like a typical dealership setting where the higher up the manager was, the more he hated his life. Toyota. <coughs> well, yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed the job. It was really great. And the thing was working around a fully electric vehicle was a hundred times more simple than working around a gasoline vehicle. There was no fuel tanks, no fuel lines, no engine, no belts, no alternator. Coming from a dealership where I would have to service gasoline vehicles, I did start getting paid hourly. And like I said, I'm not trying to talk too much, so I'll keep these brief. And if y'all are interested, please hit a like, subscribe, or let me know down in the comments below. But back to my closing points, if I wasn't reassembling or inspecting a car, I was walking around with my unofficial foreman, running scans in the car, performing diagnostics, or creating what we would call in Tesla sessions. And I know for like other companies like Toyota, we would call it a task case. That was just a quick little introduction to what I would do at work. And so with that said, I think that concludes everything. I just realized how slouched I looked in my camera. But with that said though, I think that does conclude part two. So like I mentioned before, please let me know if y'all do want to hear my other stories. I don't know how to do an outro, but with that said, thank y'all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.